It's my pleasure. You know, when, when I, uh, it's funny when, when you first asked me to do this, I just thought it was like part of your dojo blog or something. I didn't, I was just, oh, you know, I'll fix up the English a little bit and make sure it's not embarrassing. And then, you know, when, when I started reading it, I realized that this is much, much different than I thought. This is a much bigger story. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a really good book, Piotr. It's just, I mean, just plain good book. It has nothing to do with Aikido. It's a, like we were, uh, King and I were out, he's, he's reading it now and he has a friend he, uh, he runs into periodically and she always asks him, you know, well, what are you reading lately? And he said, oh, I'm reading this really interesting book by, by this Polish guy about his, you know, teaching, teaching martial arts. She's like, oh, I want to read that, you know, and immediately she's hooked, you know, and so that's what I, as soon as I really started getting into this book um, that you wrote and, and I realized like, okay, I have to take this seriously. And you remember we went through a few chapters and then I said, you know, I need to go back and redo it because I had, I had, uh, from an editorial standpoint, um, one of my big, you know, I edit a lot of translations. That's my job. I edit translations of Japanese and depending I do a lot of nonfiction, uh, like sociopolitics, history, uh, books on martial arts, like dry books. So the, the author can't have much of a voice. But a couple of years ago, I did some very interesting books for the Japan Library. Um, they were kind of, one was on this guy, Kakiemon uh, 14, who is a master potter in the Kakiemon style. He's the inheritor of the Kakiemon tradition, which is a porcelain tradition. And then I had another one, this guy who's like the greatest lacquerer ever to be to exist in Japan. I mean, he, he, uh, he's, I think he's passed away now, but it, these were translations of their biographies, auto, autobiographies. And in these books, I had a chance to kind of, they, they were told, both of them were in interview style. And so I had a chance to kind of preserve the voice of the speaker. And I felt, you know, I fought, I, I fought with the, the lead editor because they, oh, this English isn't correct. You don't usually use these words. And I said, no, this is the flavor of, you know, this is the way this guy is speaking and we need to maintain that flavor. It's, it's very characteristic, you know, he's chuckling, he's laughing, he's smoking his pipe, all of this is, you know, and, and so with your book, I felt very strongly it needed to be the same. I, I, you know, I can hear your, I can hear you talking as you tell it and your kind of dry sense of humor, you know, <laughs> putting your hands in your hakama to see if you shit yourself, you know. <laughs> I just laughed over that for days. Every, you know, I yeah, no, actually. <laughs> it was such a good story. So anyway, um, I think maybe some readers may not understand that. Why is the English not perfect? It doesn't, you know, but I didn't want it to be perfect.